What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a lens test on the Zeiss Lightweight Zoom 21 to 100. Absolutely incredible range on this lens for a T2.9. We're gonna be going through a bunch of different tests from breathing, bokeh, edge distortion and sharpness. We're gonna be looking at flaring, close focus and making sure that it's parfocal. So I'm super excited to get into these tests. So let's get started. So the first test that we're gonna take a look at is our breathing test. So with this one, we're gonna be racking focus to close focus and now all the way out to infinity. And what we're looking for with this is how much the lens zooms in and out on the sides of the frame. Now, as you can tell, as we go through this focus range, there is almost no movement on those edges and any of that sort of breathing of the lens, which is really great for a zoom lens like this. Now I have to say that I did mess up here and I missed doing it at 100 millimeters as well. So I only had the breathing test at 21 millimeters, but it's pretty much the same for both of those focal lengths. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the bokeh test, looking at the out of focus area in the background and how smooth that out of focus area is. So closing all the way down to a T22, opening back up to a 2.9 and then going through some of these different stops. So a T4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16, 12, and then all the way open again to a T2.9. Now we're gonna do that same test at 100 millimeters. So again, looking at that background in the out of focus area. With the 100 millimeters, it starts at a T3.9, not a T2.9, like at 21 millimeters. And then going through some of those stops again. So close down to a T11, T16, T22, and then opening back up again to a T3.9. I'm just gonna pause it here for a quick second because you definitely notice some kind of odd things in the background of the bokeh. There's almost these inner rings on the bokeh in the background. So just keep that in mind as we're looking through some of this other footage when we get into the close focus test of what that bokeh looks like. Going on to the next test, which is our edge distortion and sharpness. So this we're wide open, 21 millimeters, T2.9. We're gonna pan off to either side. And here we're really looking for the distortion in faces and how much it stretches out my face and if it's able to keep the sharpness across the entire frame. Now sharpness is definitely there, you can also see a little bit of that distortion stretching out towards the edges on my face, but it is rectilinear, so we're not getting any barrel distortion. Going into a hundred millimeters, we're gonna do the exact same test again. We're at a T3.9 now at hundred millimeters, just panning off to the sides. And with this one, there's a lot less of that distortion because of the more telephoto focal length. Next test, we're gonna look at the flaring. So we're starting at 21 millimeters here, and we're just gonna move a light around the frame. This one's pretty dimmed down, but you can start to see a little bit of those reflective elements in there. And then as we brighten it up, we're starting to see a lot more of those. You're seeing a lot of rings around the outside edge and all of those different elements in there, which are very, very reflective. You get some color cast too of some greens, blues, and magentas. Going into 100 millimeters, we're gonna do the exact same test. So starting with a light that's pretty dimmed down, here you don't really see many of those elements, maybe one or two towards the center. And then as we brighten it up, we get these really interesting rings around the center. And then towards those edges, we get some nice blooming. And it actually is a really clean looking flare with a couple of those reflective elements towards the center. Next test we're gonna look at is close focus. So here we are at 100 millimeters zoomed in at close focus, which is two feet, eight inches. And we're gonna zoom all the way out to 21 millimeters, which keeps that same close focus at two feet, eight inches and then back into 100 millimeters, which you can get a pretty nice close up with. And then lastly, we're gonna look at the parfocal test. So zoomed all the way into 100 millimeters on a subject that's not moving. We're zooming all the way out, making sure that focus stays sharp on the slate that we have there. Zooming in and out a couple times here, just so you can see that, but it is parfocal keeping that sharpness. If you wanna try out the Zeiss Lightweight Zoom 21 to 100 on your next shoot, check out the links in the description down below. If you have any questions about this lens, let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna check out some of the other lens tests where we cover tons of different zooms and primes, I'll throw a link to that playlist right up here and at the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you learned a little more about this lens. If it did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.